Okay, well, last week she was here at this path on a bike ride with some of her friends when after 30 minutes the adventure nearly turned deadly. I wanted to get home and get water and I wanted to get out of the mess that I was in. Just out of the hospital, 12-year-old Brenna Green, her brother Mason, and friends Brayden and Lachlan Howie went on a bike ride through the mountains in their East Mesa community. But the three-mile adventure would soon turn desperate after the group got lost. Around the middle, I started feeling really, really thirsty. I just kind of like fell down and laid down next to this cactus. And I was just like trying to slow my breathing. Soared as high as 115 degrees that day. Without any water or a cell phone, the kids relied on Mason to ride back to get their mother. Then ditched her bike and began walking on the path to try and catch up with the others. Her last memory? Just falling into a bush and kind of crawling away because there's a cactus in front of me and I didn't want to fall into it. Like her head was down here. Her back is so destroyed because she fell on rocks. Jenny Green says her daughter was convulsing and unconscious. Doctors later said Brenna's core temperature reached 108 degrees. She was shaking. Um, her eyes were pretty much rolling back in the back of her head, and there was no response. Brenna was rushed to the hospital where she spent five days in the ICU. Her internal organs and nervous system did suffer some damage, and she'll be under doctor's eye for the next year. She was just on a bike ride. You know, it was a little one-hour bike ride. And it turned from leaving on a bike, happy with a smile, to um, the emergency room, very close to not making it. And paramedics say those mothers did exactly the right thing. They took Brenna to the car, they poured water on her, stuck her right in front of the AC vents to try and bring down her core body temperature. Now, of course, it's a good idea to really know the signs of heat exhaustion, and they are dizziness, muscle cramps, nausea, and profuse sweating. Reporting live in Mesa, Karina Sunfree.